where we return, we'll tear you around for shreds with this month's Velio workout. So get permission from your mothers, boys and girls. We'll be right back. All right, you've been waiting to see me and Mike train together in this month's Vallejo workout. So get ready, take some notes. That's right. Flex and I will each show you our favorite bicep and tricep exercises. And I'll show you how I got these 22-inch guns. All right, big boy, let's get busy. I'm going to start with my favorite bicep exercise, the seated dumbbell curl. In my experience, nothing puts on mass better. I start by using a flat bench and curl both dumbbells simultaneously. Notice that I angle my wrist outward, away from my body. This puts the force of the movement directly on the inner head of the bicep and builds the peak that every bodybuilder dreams about. When I can't do any more reps together, I alternate between arms and really squeeze the muscle at the top of the rep. This contraction is very important for the completion of the exercise. And you'll know if you're doing it right, because your thighs will get a wicked pump. My favorite bicep movement which helped me build these massive, incredible arms and seated concentration curls. This exercise completely isolates each bicep separately, putting maximum stress and giving maximum mass to each muscle. It's important to keep your elbow against your inner thigh, which minimizes the movement of your upper arm and shoulder. I also find supinate at the top of each movement and squeeze the life out of the biceps at a count of one on each rep. Five sets of 10 to 12, and your arms will be peaked higher than Mount Everest. Now that you've seen our biceps blasted, it's time to hit the back of the arm, the tricep. My number one choice for the overall tri development is the push down, using a straight bar. I try to go as heavy as possible and use a close grip of my elbows in tight to my body. This allows me to control the weight instead of it controlling me. I squeeze the muscle group at the bottom of the rep and raise it slowly to the top of the movement. Again, the key to this exercise is control. Don't let your ego and the feel of heavy weight overcome proper form. Try 10 to 12 reps for four excruciating sets and let's see how your thighs react. Enough playing around. It's time to burn your arms with the king of tricep exercises. I call them the lion skull crushes. You have to go heavy on this movement to get the type of results I'm after. I use a medium grip and focus on keeping my wrist straight through each entire movement. This keeps both pain and pressure off the muscle insertions at the elbow, a common problem many bodybuilders suffer from. Concentrate on a steady elbow position.